School is back in session, but some districts may not have enough teachers. We talked to the Carrier Mills School District about how their teacher and substitute numbers are looking. News 3's Waylon Walls Parker shows us more. The Illinois State Board reports there are over 3,500 teaching positions unfulfilled in the state. Bryce Gerald is the superintendent of the Carrier Mills School District and the principal of the village's high school. He says filling the teacher positions has been harder over the years. So it is a difficult job, and I think a lot of people just at this time are not going into teaching. Gerald says they got creative this year to be fully staffed by working with SIU. Placed a student teacher with us at the beginning of the year, and she's going to have a lot of support. She's doing a really good job right now, so we're excited, and hopefully we can hire her when she graduates in December to finish the year. Gerald said even finding substitute teachers was hard this year. Nobody would answer, or they said, no, we're no longer a subbing. We started calling everybody on the list just to see, and I think we narrowed it down to like only four teachers. The Illinois State Board of Education says a substitute teacher can fill a vacancy left by a teacher for 90 days or until the end of the semester. The school's vice principal says for people looking to become a substitute teacher, there's a list they can go on. They register with the ROE. Um, generally, they have a degree. Uh, that, that's probably the first step they need. Uh, they go there, they fill out the paperwork. Gerald says he hopes people will consider going into the teaching profession. And it's a wonderful profession. I really wish more people would come and get in our schools. Usually if we have student teachers, once they're here, they fall in love with our school and we end up hiring them. Gerald shared that his school district hired three student teachers after they finished their college. Reporting in Carrier Mills, I'm Willem Walsh Parker, News 3.